there, this is the final part of the two minute forager and I can never be entirely sure whether it's late summer or early autumn so we'll say it's somewhere between the two and what you will have somewhere near you wherever you are in Britain is this stuff, Himalayan balsam. Very interesting plant so it hasn't been in the UK for that long maybe 150 years but just over the last 25-30 years it has started to proliferate all over the place so much so that it's actually called a noxious weed that means people don't want it around it doesn't actually really do any harm but what it does do is it's so prolific that it it, it just covers everything else up but luckily for us foragers every single little bit of it is edible so if you want to coming a little bit closer you see these flowers here the old name for these was policeman's helmets and you can see why that would be actually if you're younger than about I don't know 10 years old you probably wouldn't recognize this as an old-fashioned policeman's helmet but yeah it kind of is a bit similar to that so inside you may get a nice little lick of nectar so that's the flower which you know maybe or maybe not it will have the uh, the nectar in it but where the really interesting bit of this plant is for me anyway is in these seed heads so if you find yourself a nice big juicy fat one this one looks good give it a squeeze then what you will see is this tiny little spring mechanism isn't that amazing and then you also get these seeds which taste a little bit like pine nuts mmm they're really crunchy and nutty and delicious so given the fact that we want to try and get rid of some of the Himalayan balsam we have in this country you may as well eat it next we're going to do a bit of a bundle because right next to the Himalayan balsam is some elderberry and that's my favorite so um, we spoke about elderflower um, in one of the previous series so when we spoke about elderflower we talked about the fact that after the flowers have gone there the berries develop now the berries of elderberry are particularly interesting and I think if I was going to pick one plant out of all the plants that we've covered elderberry would be picked out as the most important mainly because this time of year when the weather starts changing you can get coughs and colds and things like that now elderberry has been clinically trialed around the world and it's been found to have antiviral qualities um, and it also boosts your immune system so that's a real double whammy now you can buy an over-the-counter elderberry tonic if you want or you can make your own it's very very simple you find your elderberries I would say get 20 heads take the berries off the stems as much as you can then with these berries you pop them in a pan bring them to boiling point let them go cold then strain them and then cook them again but add in ginger turmeric maybe some cinnamon um, some nice sugar or honey boil it all up and then when it's cold pop it into the, um, the plastic water bottles that we're all trying to get rid of you're always going to have some anyway somewhere so fill those up leaving an inch at the top and pop them in your freezer and you should stay fit and healthy all year round for peanuts literally peanuts actually it's not peanuts it's berries